We have a team of correspondents. First, we'll go to Chris Van Cleve in Washington. Chris? Scott, this is not a region known for handling a lot of snow well. The snow has started, and overnight will come the heavy winds. The front end of an epic blizzard swept into the frigid nation's capital this afternoon as hundreds of Washington, D.C. snowplows hit the streets, trying to stay ahead of a forecast calling for two feet of snow or more, complicated by wind gusts up to 55 miles an hour. Daniel Kernage is treating the roads in a city snowplow. How important is it for people to get off the roads tonight? Very. I just don't want people to be in the street, me personally, because of time. Once we get behind the snow, it's going to be a hard time fighting to get back on top. But there's great concern after about an inch of snow Wednesday gridlocked the city for hours. And now the snow is coming fast, falling at up to three inches an hour until early Sunday morning. Chris Geldart is running the district's storm response. This is going to be a deadly storm? Yes, sir. Our first concern really are the residents. Um, you know, the, one of the major monikers of success for this, for me uh, personally, is to make sure we don't lose anybody. Forecasters have been warning about this monster storm for days, but some waited until just hours before the snow started falling to stock up on food and supplies, finding long lines and empty shelves. Lakeisha Love will be riding out the storm with her four sons. Just making sure that we have everything possibly that's on our emergency checklist and know that we have a backup plan for um, lighting and candles, batteries and things like that. D.C. Police Chief Kathy Lanier says the time to be outside has passed. No matter how pretty the snow is, um, in a storm like this, if you go outside while the storm is going and the winds are blowing that high, you're really putting yourself at risk. Hundreds of National Guardsmen across the region have been activated to help first responders get to calls as the snow piles up. Scott, D.C. is asking other states for help, asking for additional snow removal equipment. Chris, thank you.